Welcome to the Power Is Now Radio. Your host and founder of the Power Is Now Incorporated, Eric Frazier. Good afternoon and welcome to the Power Is Now Realtor Seminar. My name is Eric Frazier. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join me today. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Southern California. It's Friday and I'm looking forward to the weekend. I don't know about you, but it's been a it's been an interesting week. Uh, concluding what is this now, the second week in our new year. And uh, I'm excited about 2019. I'm excited about the loans we're going to close, the real estate deals we're going to close, the new relationships we're going to make, uh, the business we're going to do in 2019. And the purpose of this seminar is to educate, to inspire, to help real estate professionals know more about what's possible. You know, I, Rarely do I meet a real estate agent that doesn't, uh, you know, know how to meet people and talk to people and to knock on doors or to make phone calls. They have family, they have friends, they have acquaintances. But, you know, do they know what to say and about the financing that's available uh, to help people buy? There are many people out there who are desiring to buy a home, many people who want to get into the game of homeownership. And um, I think the conversation needs to change. As real estate professionals, we need to know more and more about the financing available and to incentivize or to inspire people to move forward with buying a home. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is all the programs, the zero down, low money down programs uh, and just the great strategies that exist to help you become a homeowner, help your clients become a homeowner. If you're a real estate professional, you don't own a home. Well, we can help you become a homeowner as well. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, for those of you who are on our webinar, I want you to know that um, uh, this information is being recorded. And so this webinar will be edited and it will be put on the Powers Now TV. Uh, will be, uh, it'll be on Facebook, a YouTube channel. And uh, and it'll be a, it'll be available. So if you want to listen again, or if you can't hang out for the entire time, no problem. We got you covered. The other thing too is that you can always reach out to me directly. Uh, my direct contact information. I'll share that with you in just a minute here. Um, we have a live chat on our website, uh, so you can chat with us live on our website. Uh, you can. Um, there's so many ways to engage with us. We have an online platform, Agent Support Now, agentsupportnow.com, where you can put in your clients that may be, uh, may be eligible for one of the programs I'll talk about today, agentsupportnow.com. Check that out. Put in your information, your client's information. Uh, with that platform, by the way, we're able to kill two birds with one stone. We can help you in nurturing and managing that client. We keep a database for you. And you have a permanent record of the lead that you gave us forever. Anytime you want to know whatever happened to this customer or you want to send them something or you just want the database, we, we can send that to you. And so this has been a game changer for a lot of agents who are working with us because you know, they don't have a CRM or they've had so many different CRMs or they have everything in paper or they have everything in their Google address book. They don't really have a formalized system uh, and certainly don't have anyone managing to these leads that they've generated over the years. And so it's a great way to, um, uh, to help you manage your business as a real estate professional. So let's get started here. In fact, I'm going to uh, share my screen and so if you have any questions uh, about anything that I'll be talking about today here, uh, do not hesitate to ask. Uh, in fact, just uh, raise your hand. This is a webinar, or you can ask a question in the chat room, uh, however you want to do it. Uh, we are here for you for the next hour, for the next hour. So you should see my uh, PowerPoint presentation and my image. Um, so The Power Is Now is a real estate company and a media company. Um, I'm licensed in the state of California as a real estate broker. My individual license number is 01143484. I'm also licensed as a mortgage broker. My individual license number is 461807. 
The power is now is licensed only in the state of California and our license number as a company, uh, as a real estate company, Power is now real estate services is 198407 and our license number as a mortgage company, we're a full service mortgage brokerage. Our license number is 1435243 with the MNLS, NMLS. So this presentation uh, today is for real estate professionals only and is intended for the exclusive use of licensed real estate professionals and mortgage professionals in accordance with local laws and regulations. It is not intended for the general public. Rates and programs are subject to change without notice. The Powers Now is also an equal opportunity employer. Powers Now Real Estate Brokerage, Powers Now Mortgage Brokerage. We do not discriminate against individuals on the basis of race, gender, color, religion, national origin, age, disability, veteran status, or any classification protected and originating loans are providing uh, real estate uh, services. Again, we're licensed by the state of California, uh, just in the state of California. We don't do loans out of state at all. We're an equal opportunity lender. And um, again, the programs may change, all right? Change is the only thing you can count on in this industry. You should know that if you've been in the business more than a month, you already know that the only thing you can count on in this industry is change. So again, my name is Eric Frazier and I am your resource for real estate. Uh, the reason why I do this seminar it's because I, I love working with real estate agents. I mean, I am a real estate agent and a broker, and I love doing purchase business. We hardly do any refinance business at all, except for maybe our past purchase, purchase clients who want to lower the rate or pull out some cash. So uh, I love working with real estate agents. I think the key to being successful as a real estate agent is getting the financing, understanding the financing, being able to I talk about the financing. In fact, we encourage our agents here to get licensed, get a mortgage license, so you can do both. Uh, conventional loans, uh, you can do, you can actually originate the loan and you can sell real estate. That's conventional loans only. You cannot do that on FHA loans, but on conventional loans you can. And I think getting the license and the education is just, it's just gonna take your game to another level. So uh, I am really, uh, a, a resource in so many ways. One, I speak all the time. I provide a resource page on our website, thepowersnow.com. If you go to our homepage, uh, under, on the homepage, you'll see resources. And I tell you, you'll find just about everything there. The latest research on real estate, on housing forecasts, on the wealth. I mean, it's a lot of good information to build your knowledge as a real estate professional. In addition to that, I'm a coach. I, I do business coaching. I do real estate coaching. Uh, I can help you put your business together. I can help you with your planning, with your business planning, all of that stuff. Uh, and of course, being a mortgage broker, I, I, I can serve your clients' needs. I do everything. And you're going to see that in just a minute here. I literally do everything when it comes to loans. So I'm also a real TIS a member of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, past president of the Orange County chapter, currently executive director. I'm a member of all the minority trade associations, NARAP, uh, NAREP, the Hispanic group, the Asian group, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in in this game. Now, a little bit about me personally. I've been married for 37 years now. That, that says 36 and a half. It was 37 on the 19th of December, uh, to my Nubian queen, Ruby Lee Gordon. And together we have brought into this world four incredible daughters. My three daughters, my three oldest daughters have master's degrees in finance and are in real estate related field. My youngest daughter just graduated from Cal Poly with a degree in uh, apparel and merchandising. Uh, I have two grandchildren, uh, two granddaughters and one grandson. And so we finally got a boy I'm really happy about. I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we've been in Riverside uh, for the last uh, close to 17 years. I'm a graduate of Redlands University in the neighboring city. I have my undergrad there in business administration, my master's there in finance. 37 years as a banker. I've been a banker and broker for as long as I've been married. 27 years as a real estate agent, 17 years now as a real estate broker. My wife and I founded Fraser Group Realty 
downtown Riverside is still there. We're celebrating 13 years now at Fraser Group Realty. My wife and kids all are licensed agents and, and sell real estate with her. Um, the Powers now is a media company as well as a real estate company and a mortgage company. We began as a real estate company in 2009. 2009. So look, we're 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 about to celebrate. I believe August of 2009 is when we did our first show. August of 2009, and so we're going to have a big old celebration. It'll be 10 years on August of 2019. So we do online radio, online TV, online magazines, online events like this event today. Um, and uh, we do live events. We partner with churches and nonprofit organizations. We are really uh, involved in media. We are a full-fledged media company as well as a real estate company and a mortgage company. And our main office, our corporate office is downtown Riverside. Although our company is a media, is a, is a, is a web-based company. So we have no brick and mortar, really. Administrative offices in downtown Riverside, one in Clear Lake, California. All of our agents work from their home, have home offices. All right, so just a couple more things about the company. Please uh, tune in on Tuesdays. We have the Power Lunch. It's live. It's, sometimes it's live, sometimes it's pre-recorded, but it's a show called the Power Lunch where I talk about real estate-related things from an industry perspective. I just did a Power Lunch on the housing forecast and the economic forecast issued by Fannie Mae, uh, and I highly recommend you listen in. You can listen to it or watch it on uh, our Powers Now TV or on our Facebook or YouTube channel. Every Tuesday, I do a home buyer seminar. Sometimes it's live, sometimes it's not. All of last year, every single one of them were live. This year, we're doing more pre-recorded first-time home buyer seminars um, so that can, people can you know, watch on demand. Now, when I do a live show, it's live on Facebook, so they can watch on demand anyway if they don't make it. But uh, we decided to just do more pre-recorded shows. And uh, the last show I did, which is on Facebook now, it's about the FHA 203B with 10% down. We do a marketing session every Thursday. And last year, we were doing them live. This year, we will do a combination of live shows and also pre-recorded shows. So I just pre-recorded this morning a marketing session on a great property here in Riverside. It would be, on, it would be live on, our, on all of our sites, the Powers Now TV, Facebook, YouTube, what have you, on Monday. If you if you know anyone looking to buy a single family home in Riverside, there's a great deal. Price reduction just took place today, and uh, we did a show about it, and so you'll see it soon. And then we do our realtor webinars, and so our next one is two weeks from today. Two weeks from today, we'll do another realtor webinar, and in this realtor webinar, like today, I'm going to be talking about uh, loan programs because that's what you need to know about. You know. Everybody wants to become a listing agent, and it's great to be a listing agent. But what do you do when a house isn't selling? you got to get out there and become a buyer's agent. Otherwise, you're going to lose a listing. And you can't be an effective buyer agent if you don't understand financing and what's available for your buyers. And then we do a first-time home buyer uh, orientation. Now, these are for our clients who go to applytobuynow.com. Uh, we do a first-time home buyer seminar. And this seminar is uh, it's an orientation, actually. And so these are people who may have actually attended a seminar. Uh, they were referred by a real estate professional. And so we do an orientation, and it really talks about, it goes, because most people that apply with us are looking for no money down or low money down. And so we go over that again with them. We, go, we talk about the loan application process, the documentation requirements, the FICO score, all the other requirements, what to expect how long the pre-approval. So it's an orientation for about uh, between a half hour to 45 minutes. And this orientation is every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. And it is a webinar that they have to register for. Okay, then I want to invite you to check out the Powers Now magazine. Uh, please do so. Uh, every month we put out a great magazine with great articles. If you love to write, please write for us. It'd be a great way to get some free advertising. We have a real estate magazine as well. And we're really focusing on HUD homes. Uh, I said, in fact, one of the programs I'm going to talk about today is about uh, just for HUD properties, HUD REOs. And so uh, look for that uh, magazine, uh, this coming magazine, 
uh, to have a lot of HUD properties in there, uh, trying to bring more attention to HUD homes and uh, the great opportunity to buy and to finance and or to repair. Then we have the radio magazine. So anytime I do an interview with an industry leader or real estate professional, uh, not only is it on iTunes and the various other platforms that we're on, but it's in our radio magazine. We put them on the cover, we embed the uh, audio so people can read about them and hear about them. And then we do a lot of live workshops. I work with churches and real estate offices. So if you would like me to come to your real estate office, I'd be happy to go through all the programs I'll be talking about today in detail. If you're connected with a church and your church would like to have a homeownership initiative or plan, I can help them with that. We can set it up. We can do, we can set up weekly or monthly seminars to bring people along. We provide all kinds of different additional support for people to buy a home. And then the Powers Down Mortgage Services is a full service mortgage banker. We mortgage brokerage. We do everything from ground up construction to hard money to FHA, VA, zero down payment programs. I'm approved with just about every lender you can imagine. Uh, if there's a product out there uh, and you think I don't have it, uh, you're probably wrong. Uh, we have just about every program that exists. We even have a rent to own program. So um, if you're interested, if you have a client that just prefers to rent right now, then why not check out some of the great rent to own programs that, that uh, you know, it's just puts you closer to home ownership. And then the Powers Now Real Estate Services is, a, is a, another division of our organization in which we are uh, training people into real estate. We have a training program. It's called the Hope Ambassador Program. You can find that under membership. If you go to our website, thepowersnow.com, look under membership, you'll see Hope Ambassador. And so we like bringing on agents uh, and helping them to become real estate professionals and um uh, of course, with an emphasis on understanding the financing side of it. All right. Our mission is to inspire and to educate real estate professionals and consumers uh, to, to build wealth, really, uh, to have the information, the tools, and the resources they need to make money in this business, to become homeowners. And the time to do it is now as the market is rapidly changing. Our vision is to be the resource in both the real estate community and among consumers uh, for information about home ownership and financing homes. And we want to be your partner. We're serious about being your partner. And we can support you in a million different ways uh, through our media platform, as well as through assisting you with home loans and other uh, things. Okay, our company mantra is that we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. Our power. Your power is now. We make homeownership dreams a reality. And folks, we're doing that every single day. I want to encourage you, if you have a client who is interested uh, in getting pre-approved, um, put in their information or have them go to applytobuynow.com. That's the actual application website. Applytobuynow.com or neverleaseagain.com. That's our application website. We do everything online. We also have a mobile app where they can do everything, even run their credit report from their cell phone. So uh, please uh, consider using us, especially after you hear the details of all that we have to offer. All right, so let's get started. The first program that I wanna talk about is the $100 program. And this program is amazing. Honestly, I don't know why there's any inventory at all with, the, with HUD. I don't know why there's any in inventory at all because if you buy a HUD REO, they wait, they FHA, HUD, on the FHA 203B program and the 203K program, they will waive the down payment Instead of putting 3.5% down, all you have to do is put $100 down. That's, that's their incentive. They're trying to incentivize the public to buy HUD foreclosed properties. Think about that for a moment, folks. I mean, who does that? Who does that? I mean, nobody but HUD. $100 down on a HUD REO. And so we are encouraging our clients to look at HUD properties and uh, I think we're going to see as the rates rise and as, 
uh, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the trade war, but um, we're going to see more, unfortunately, HUD REOs. And uh, if you don't know about this program, uh, then you have, uh, you're missing the boat. The first thing you need to do as a real estate professional is go get your NAIG number. Get your NAIG number, and your broker has to do it. He has to get signed up with his NAIG number. Then you can get yours. So you can sell HUD properties. And then, you know, uh, now you know that if you have someone who wants to buy a home, all they have to do is to say, I want to buy a home. I, I, I got a job. I, I make enough money. You know, my credit score is at least 580. That's right. 580 FICO score. I, I, you know, I, my FICO score is at least 580. I make enough money. I have $100. Let's make it happen. It's really that easy. 580 minimum FICO score. And again, it's a 203B, which is a standard FHA. They waive the down payment. But let's say the property has some problems. You know, it needs, it's completely dated. I saw one the other day. In fact, I did a show on a HUD REO. It's on our website. It's on the Powers Now TV. And the kitchen, cap, the house is moving ready, moving ready. But that house was built in the 50s and it still has those same cabinets. So a person could literally move in, live there, no problem. But the whole house needs updating. And I would say probably a 20, 25 grand would do it. We could do a 203K, add that to the purchase price and be able to get a first time home buyer into a home with no money down. No money down. Oh, okay, hundred dollars down. Now I know you're thinking, okay, what about the closing costs? FHA will allow the seller to pay up to six percent of the closing costs. So if FHA, if the offer we make, the offer we make will be to to cover the closing costs. We're going to ask HUD for credit for closing costs. If they say no, if it doesn't meet their net minimum, then you know there's other things we can do. Based on the person's FICO score, we can do an interest credit to give them help towards the closing costs. And since they're only coming up with 100 bucks, maybe they can get some money from mom or dad, sister or brother uh, to help them get in the game. So we're talking about 10 year, 15, 20, 25, 30 year, fully amortized fixed rate mortgages. Uh, I tell you, the 5-1 arm is available on this as well. Have you looked at the rates on the 15 year? You know, not everybody can afford a 15 year mortgage, but rates are still pretty good. And uh, this is a fantastic program. Now, the other thing I like about this program is that you're not limited to just a single family home. Normally, when you're doing a zero down or low money down or some type of special program, uh, they want to lock you down to a single family home, which I hate. I, I cannot wait for some nonprofit or, or the, for some organization to step up and allow people to get down payment assistance on a four unit property. I had one lender that did that. And they're no longer doing it. I am on the hunt looking for a lender that will provide down payment assistance on a four unit owner occupied property. So with this program, the maximum you can buy is two units and or you can use it. You can use it to purchase a condominium, a foreclosed condominium, PUD or even a manufactured house but two units, primary residence. And I think I love units because you live in one unit, rent out the other. It may, it may not be enough to cover the whole payment, but maybe half the payment or three quarters of the payment. And that really puts you ahead of the game. So the sales contract will establish the eligibility for the $100 down and the purchase price. And uh, uh, there are all kinds of descriptors on the HUD Home website that tells us you know, what the property is eligible for. Uh, if we can do an escrow, uh, hold back for repairs, do a 203K, or we can do a standard. You know, all those information, those details are on the HUD website. We make those, inf those details available in our magazine, and uh, so I can't wait for us to get that out. All right, so that's our first zero down program, $100 down. FHA, $100 down. I'm not talking about down payment assistance. I'm saying they're waiving the three and a half percent down. All they want is a hundred bucks. Is that not cool or what, right? That is totally cool. Now the next zero down payment program is the VA loan. And I tell you, I don't know. I, I just don't get, I have a good friend who is a veteran and he's renting right now. And he says, okay, Eric, I'm gonna do it this year. I'm gonna get it done. Okay, man, Charles, it's, it's time to get it done. This month, we're 10 days, 11 days now into the month. That's get going. 
it costs more money for a veteran to rent a house than it does to buy a house. No, I'm serious. You got to come up with first and last and a security deposit. A veteran can buy a house with no down payment, no closing costs. VA, no, no. And honestly, I, we have got to do something. You know a vet, you've got to talk to them. Maybe you're not talking to them about the financing. Maybe you have some relationship with family or friends. Maybe you're not as a real estate agent reaching out to the veteran community. You should do that. I mean, this is like, I and mean, you can't get better than this. The VA loan is probably the best mortgage program on the planet. And one of the reasons why, because it's 100% financing and there's no mortgage insurance. They have a fee and that fee can be waived depending on the veteran situation, but there's no mortgage insurance. So I don't know. Uh, the VA loan is not actual loan, it's insurance. I mean, the VA, the Veterans Administration insures the loan so that banks can make these loans. And so uh, there are some requirements. You have to have served in the military for at least six months, are in the reserves, are in the National Guard for six years, are the spouse of someone who meets these conditions. And if you do that, you will qualify. And so we can get more into detail now. So the basic VA service requirements, because you got to be in the game, right? Serve in 90 consecutive days of active service in wartime or 181 days of active service during peacetime or have more than six years in the reserves or National Guard active duty sales person, or I mean service person. And then uh, a service person on active duty who has served 90 days, 90 consecutive days of active service are eligible. And then a rever uh, reservists, uh, members of the National Guard, dishonorably discharged veterans are ineligible. So you have to have an honorable discharge to uh, qualify for the program. Now, here's so great. This is another great thing about VA. So not only can you buy a house with little to no money down, right? You can buy a house with little to no money down, but VA will also give you money to renovate the property, all right? So uh, want a fixer-upper? Go for it, right? F find a property that is, you know, to totally discounted. I mean, significantly discounted. Because the thing is, tore up from the floor up, right? You heard the saying. And get use the VA renovation loan. So this, this again, is another government back initiative. It's designed to, you know, help military personnel uh, by providing an option for them to buy a lower price, buy lower price homes or homes that might be discounted because of their condition. And so they're providing the funds to do minor alterations, repairs or improvements all in the same mortgage, all in the same mortgage. It's, it's perfect. Why not, you know, wrap all the costs to fix up the house the way you want it into the loan, right? Or you can buy it with your standard VA as long as there's no health and safety issues. If they are, they still have to be addressed. And then you can do it later uh, and, you know, and have a smaller mortgage. But, you know, if you're talking about 20, 30, 40, 50,000 uh, dollars in repairs, uh, the impact to your payment, adding that to a 30-year term is minimal, minimal. So this is really, uh, I think, uh, a game changer in this time that we're living in where, you know, resales that are in great shape, turnkey conditions, they're selling the top dollar. Affordability is an issue right here in the, in the state of California. So here are the program highlights. No minimal repair amounts. Uh, and with uh, minor alterations, uh, cosmetic repairs, non-structural repairs are allowed. So non-structural repairs, including accessibility upgrades. And so if you have a disabled veteran, then uh, you know this is ideal to pay for all that. Uh, fully amortized loan, one to two residences. And this is another thing I like. So buy a two unit building. Now on a standard VA loan, you can buy a four unit building. You got to live in one. But with this particular program, with the renovation program, they will only allow you to buy uh, a two unit, up to two units. So a HUD consultant is required for all renovation projects exceeding 50,000. So normally on FHA loans, 
the FHA 203K, which I'll talk about shortly, um, the maximum is 35,000 that you can do on your own without a HUD consultant. Uh, anything above that, you need a HUD consultant. I recommend HUD consultants anyway. With a VA, you can go up to 50,000 without a HUD consultant. Oh, 50 and over, now we need a HUD consultant. All right, now again, what we've been talking about, zero down payment programs, right? Zero down, we have a zero down FHA, I'm talking about zero down, no down payment assistance is involved at all. Zero down, you need a hundred bucks. We just talked about the VA loan, right? Zero down, no down payment assistance needed. You just, you don't need any money at all. Now we're talking about the USDA loan, zero down payment program. You know, I, I often wonder, do people know that these programs exist? Do they know? Because they do. And it, again, I think that's the key here to growing our business in 2019 is getting the word out about the flexibility involved in, um, in financing a home. All right. So USDA loan is 100% financing for moderate to low to moderate, low, moderate to low income home buyers in eligible rural and suburban areas. And loans are issued through the USDA Rural Development Guaranteed Housing Loan Program, which is created by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So it's, um, it's basically a loan to help people get into homes who don't have down payment. You have to have the ability. You have to have the ability to pay. Uh, and the ability to pay, uh, there's some limitations on that. So your loan, uh, first, the income has to be within the area income limits. And the um, loans are limited to the um, area limits for uh, USDA. So there's some limitations both on income and uh, sales price or loans. And um, it has to be in a designated rural area. So we have to actually put the property address in there to determine if the property is eligible. So in this case, this is one of the few loans where you have to make sure the property is eligible in addition to you being eligible for the program. So you'd be surprised how many areas are USDA um, territories. And I would encourage you to go to the USDA website and start looking around, put in zip codes and or put in properties on the MLS that are in uh, what you might think to be rural areas but you'll also see if you take a really good look at the map, you can get a better view of the map online. Uh, you'll see that uh, there are USDA territories in just about every city in the state of California. I mean, the entire state is practically green. The areas in blue are ineligible. So um, the job is on us to, the responsibility is on us to identify properties that are in the USDA territory and then to share that information with our clients. So the great thing about this program, and by the way, the programs we've talked about so far, you can get into these homes with a 580 FICO score. 580 with FHA, the HUD REO program, 100 bucks down. 580 with VA, no money down. 580 uh, with uh, VA renovation, 580 with VA standard. And then with the USDA, 620. 620 is a minimum score. There may be lenders uh, out there that could do something lower than that, but 620 is the published guideline. Uh, no down payment required. Borrower can finance 100% of the appraised value of the purchase price. 30-year uh, fixed rate, flexible credit uh, guidelines, no, match, no maximum purchase limit, uh, but uh, the property has to be in, a G, a G, in that USDA geographical identified area in order to uh, qualify. A couple other requirements, individuals or families who plan to occupy a home located in the el eligible rural areas as their primary residence may qualify. So you can't use this as a second home or investment property, uh, has to be uh, your primary residence. We have to verify that you have sufficient income to meet the requirements, first a credit score of uh, 620, and then your debt ratio. We're looking at a debt ratio of no more than 45, but 
You can see, I've seen debt ratios as high as 50. It just depends on the situation. Um, and again, you, you, this is for people who would not normally qualify for a conventional loan because they don't have the reserve requirements, or maybe they don't have the FICO score requirements, or they just don't have the down payment. Um, so, but they have the ability to pay. Now, the other challenge of this program is that you may make too much money. Uh, it's 15, 115% of the area medium income is the limit. And so uh, for most areas, uh, the income limits for households, one to four families, about 75,000 up to 153,000 in certain high cost cities. So I haven't ran into anybody with a problem yet of being able to qualify uh, in terms of income. The problem we run into is finding the property uh, that's in a USDA designated area. Now, when it comes to the property, the property ca cannot exceed 2,000 square feet. I don't know why this rule exists, but it does. Uh, and there can't be an in-ground swimming pool which again, makes no sense to me. Why can't you have a pool? But you can, according to this program. Nor can the home be used to produce income. That's why you can't buy a two unit property, nor can you use the property to produce income in any way. So those are some of the property limita limitations on the program. Now, this is where the program really stands out. The mortgage insurance is crazy low. We're talking about an annual mortgage insurance premium of 0 .30, 0 .30, 30 basis points, 30 ba as three tenths of 1% per year. There isn't mortgage insurance lower than that anywhere. It does not exist. That is the lowest mortgage insurance, annual mortgage insurance in the industry. FHA is 0.85 a year. Conventional, depending on how much you're putting down, can be as high as 1% or 0.9 or, or as high as FHA. The other thing is that FHA requires a 1.75% upfront premium, whereas this program only requires a 1% upfront premium. Now, VA's got to, got, got G, VA has this program beat because VA doesn't require an upfront uh, premium, mortgage insurance premium. They don't have mortgage insurance at all. They have a funding fee. And that funding fee is depending, it's depending on how, you know, if this is your first time or if you're disabled, there may not be a funding fee. In this case, you have 1% no matter what, 1% upfront. You can add it to the loan amount or you can pay it, uh, whatever you want to do. Okay, we're still talking about zero down payment. We're still talking about zero down payment. Can you believe it? Did you know this? Did you know this? So zero down payment program, Cal. FHA, the housing, California Housing Finance Agent, Agency. And again, one month's rent will get you into your dream home. I mean, seriously, folks, if you got someone giving you all the money, it costs you more money to rent than it does to buy. So the Cal FHA, uh, Cal HFA FHA program features My Home, which is a low interest fixed rate silent second mortgage. The Cal Plus FHA program features a zero interest program. Zero, it's called ZIP, Z-I-P, for closing costs and has a slightly higher fixed interest rate because it's combined with the FHA first. Then you have the Cal HFA VA program, uh, which is a VA insured loan featuring the Cal FHA fixed interest rate mortgage that can be combined with My Home or ZIP one or the other, because VA is zero down, so we use the My Home or ZIP program to cover your closing costs. And then there's a Cal EEM, that's the Energy Efficient Mortgage Program, plus the grant program, combined with an FHA uh, loan. I mean, folks, it, it, it's crazy here, the money that's available, the money that's available, it's really amazing. So I'm gonna get into these in more details right now. So to meet these, uh, the requirements for this program, any one of these programs, you're gonna have to comply with the state. And the state underwriting guidelines in some cases and in most cases are more restrictive 
than the actual agency guidelines like Fannie, Freddie, and, and HUD, all right? Uh, in fact, they may be even more stringent than bank overlays. You know, why they're doing this makes no sense to me since their sole purpose of existing is to improve homeownership, the opportunity for homeownership for low to moderate income families. So you need to live in a home. That's the first rule. You gotta be, you gotta, you have to live in a house. You can't use it as a second home or investment property. Um, you gotta not only live there, but you gotta stay there, right? The entire term of the loan until the home is either sold or wait till the value goes up, refinance it, then you can move and do something else, do something different. You'll need to complete home buyer education, counseling, and get a certificate. You can do this online, or you can go to a HUD-approved counseling agency. Obviously, the house has to be located in California. It is the California Housing Finance Agency. Uh, it has to be your primary residence. The maximum sales price is seven hundred five. dollars uh, So that'll get you a lot of house anywhere in California. Maximum, five acres. So the land can't be more than five acres, and the home must be zoned in a single family area. You gotta be a R1, can't be R2, three or four, cannot be in a multi-family zoning, and it cannot be a multi-family home. Has to be a single family home. You can have an accessory dwelling unit, uh, you know, a granny house, a guest house, a mother-in-law unit. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, you can have a condominium, or PUD, uh, just got to make sure that they are HUD approved if you use an FHA program. And you can even have a double wide, a double wide manufactured house with this program. Can't be a single wide, has to be a double wide. And of course, the manufactured house has to meet the construction requirements and age requirements. Now, let's talk about the assistance with this FHA, conventional and VA program. The My Home Assistance Program offers a deferred loan uh, on the home. It'll be a second mortgage, a, jun a junior lien, 3.5% uh, of the purchase price. And uh, the interest rate on that is 2.5% simple interest. So you're paying interest, but you're not making a payment. So interest will accumulate until you either pay the loan or sell the home or refinance the home. All right. So as long as you don't do anything, you don't leave or you don't refinance, you never have to pay uh, until the loan is paid off. So that's my home. There's another program is for teachers, school teachers and employee assistance program. And uh, this is for just about anyone working for a school, teachers, administrators, what have you. You gotta be a first time home buyer. This is also a junior lien. It's 4% of the purchase price only. Uh, it can be combined uh, with the Cal FHA first mortgage and um, the school program loan can be subordinated. Um, you know, so it is a junior lien and it is for down payment assistance or closing costs. So it doesn't have to be one or the other, whereas on the My Home, that has to be for down payment um, on the FHA. The ZIP program can be for closing costs. On the teacher program, you can use that 4% for both down payment and you can use it for a closing cost. The ZIP is a second, as I mentioned before, uh, this uh, is available with Cal Plus and it's a silent second uh, for either three or 4%. And so why pick three versus four? Well, their interest rate is lower on the first if you pick three. It'll be higher on the first if you pick four. And so there is, um, you know, this is tied to both FHA uh, program or VA and uh, there is uh, no interest rate. It's zero interest. That's why I call it ZIP, zero interest program. And the money can be used for your closing costs. It is deferred. The payment, there's no payment. You don't have to pay it back until you either sell the property or you refinance the property or you try to make the property into an investment property. It's going to be called due. You're going to have to pay it. The next program uh, is called the Home Secure Down Payment Assistance Program. And there are other variations of this program. Uh, so I should probably just change the name and just call it uh, Home Down Payment Assistance. We probably have about, I don't know, at least four or five additional programs 
that have the same exact guidelines as I'm going to share with you. So it's for people that want to buy a home, right? They want to buy a home, but they can afford the payment, but they just don't have the money for the down payment, right? It's ideal for low to moderate income families uh, and individuals. Basically, uh, it's a, it's a, it can be a grant or it can be a loan. The 3.5%, which is normally required on an FHA loan, uh, can be a loan or it can be a grant. And I'll get into the difference between the two. Uh, in addition to that, um, the seller can cover closing costs. And by the way, on all the programs I've talked about so far, the seller is able to pay up to 6% of the closing costs on behalf of the buyer. Typically, closing costs are around between 3 to 4%. And so anything above the actual cost goes back to the seller. So it's one way for the seller to sell, another way for the buyer to get in with, with less money. So in this particular program, they're being either given a grant or they're being or given a loan uh, for, the, for the down payment. Here are the basic qualifications. And these qualifications, by the way, would apply to all the programs that I've mentioned so far. You have to have, um, you know, well, I take that back. With the case of FHA and VA, there are no income limitations whatsoever. Uh, this particular program does have income limitations, so you have to meet the income limitations with this program. But an FHA and VA and USD uh, and FHA and VA, there is no income limitations. With USDA, there's an income limitation. With this program and most down payment assistance programs, there is an income limitation. So the, the key thing we're looking for in this program that the lenders are looking for is in addition to meeting the income limitations and maybe the sales price uh, limitations is that you have two years on the job uh, and in your, and it's most likely will continue, right? That you're in good standing, that uh, you'll have additional year or two or three or more, and at least continue for three years, right? So if you're getting overtime or bonus income or commission income, and you haven't been on that job for two years, you're not going to qualify. We're not going to be able to use the overtime commission or bonus income. We're not going to use We can only use your base salary. I'm sorry. Now, if you've been on the same job for two years, then you're all in. If you're working overtime, we, we actually have to document this now. We've got to get a verification of employment, and we've got to actually see that overtime income, and we're going to average that overtime income over two years. We, don't, we just don't lump it all into your total income. We're going to actually see the income over the last two years, which means we need a verification of employment, which means it's not going to happen in one day. It may, it may take a week to get a verification of employment back from your employer. So this is not a pre-approval that we'll be able to turn around in two or three days because you're using overtime, you're using commission income, bonus income, and that has to be verified. You have to be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident alien, or qualified alien. Again, owner occupier residence only. You don't have to be a first time home buyer, uh, unlike some of the other programs we just mentioned. In fact, you can own other property. The key here is that you live in this property. Now, if the other property you own is also an FHA loan, then you're going to have to do something about that. You can't have more than one FHA loan unless you're moving out of state. You got to be hundreds of miles away if you want to have two FHA loans. Non-occupying uh, non co-borrowers and co-signers are allowed on this program. Unfortunately, that's not the case on uh, the Cal FHA program. Uh, none of their programs will allow a uh, non-occupying co-borrower to help you qualify. But on FHA and on this particular program, they will allow that. And sometimes that's necessary because you don't make enough money. You got the credit, you, got the, uh, you have the credit, right? And maybe you even have the money. And maybe you don't have the money for the down payment, right? And maybe you don't have the income, enough income, but you have the credit. Well, parents can help you. Brother and sister, you can partner up with a family member and buy the home. They can help you qualify for the home. Now, they can be a co-signer, which means as a co-signer, they're just going to be on the note, but they're not going to be on the house, they're not going to be on the grant deed. Or they can be a co-borrower, which means they'll be on the note and they'll be on the grant deed. Minimum FICO score is 620 on this program. Um, you've got to have a FICO score. We can't use non-traditional uh, credit. You know, you got to have a FICO score. 
Now, there are some programs that I recommend that you can take advantage of. If you don't have established credit, we can help you establish credit right away. Within 90 days, you can have a, a great FICO score if you follow our program. If you're interested in that, let me know. And guess what? It's free advice. We will help you get it done for free. Again, you don't have to be a first-time homebuyer for this program. Another thing, too, is that uh, if you are able to get a, a auto, an automated underwriting decision, right? A DU desktop underwriter is Fannie Mae's product that enables lenders to use technology and uh, artificial intelligence to review your application and issue an approval. If we can get a DU approval, then your ratios can be as high as 56.9%. If we don't, if it's refer or ineligible, then we got to get it to an underwriter. Because it doesn't mean no, it just means an underwriter has to review it, and they're going to be far more conservative. They won't allow your ratios to be higher than 43. That's your total income or your total expenses divided into your income. They won't allow your house payment to be more than 31% of your gross income. And so it's much more restrictive underwriting. On top of that, if we were able to get a DU approval with a higher ratio, you don't have to have any extra reserves. Because sometimes even though there's no down payment or they're going to give you the down payment, they want to see that you have, most lenders want to see you have at least two months, three months of the mortgage payment in the bank, you know, in case something happens. Well, if uh, on FHA, if we get a DU approval, there's no reserves. I mean, all the money, all of your money can go to the down payment and not have any reserves and you'll still qualify, no problem. But if we have a manual underwrite, if it has to go to an underwriter because we can't get a DU approval, you got to have at least three months of the principal and interest, taxes and insurance, whatever that payment is, you got to have that in the bank. It can't be borrowed, can't be a gift. It's got to be your money. So it just makes it much more tough. Uh, to get a loan that way. And so we will work with you to help you get an auto approval and make it easier. So income limitations. If your income is 115% of the HUD medium uh, area, the HUD area medium income, if it's 115% or less, then you can actually get a grant for the money. No loan, no nothing, right? If it's above that, then you can get a loan for the money. They'll actually lend the money to you. It's a short-term loan, 10 years, uh, and um, there's an interest rate uh, that they charge. Six, uh, I, I was saying, so if your income is above 115% of the area medium income, then they'll still give you the loan. They'll still give you the money. It's as a loan. It's a 10-year loan, amortized over 10 years, and, I mean, you're in. And you can get seller credit. Uh, you can uh, get a, potentially a lender credit help you with closing costs, it just depends on your FICO score, all right, on where you're at. So I love the flexibility associated with this program, folks. I mean, this is really a great way to go. Now, the next program is called our DPA Advantage Program. And this is for individuals who are, we'll call them first responders. So uh, it's a nationwide program. We have it, if you're listening, uh, and you're not in the state of California, you may want to uh, check with us and we can refer you to lenders and uh, consultants outside of the state of California. But this is the only program that I know of where you can get 2% towards your down payment of three and a half on an FHA loan, 2%, right? With a FICO score of 580, 580. And so, um, if you know of a better program, let me know about that. So the other thing too is that it's got a it's completely forgivable grant. It's it's a grant equal to two percent of the purchase price, and the seller can kick in six percent, and the FICO score again is five eighty. There, I mean, there are no income restrictions. Uh, there's just it's it's about the occupation. They want you to be a first responder. In fact, let me get to what those uh, occupations are. You can be in the military, uh, you can be a police officer, you can be a firefighter, public safety officer, you can be a paramedic, emergency medical technician, you can be a volunteer of any of these organizations. So if you can show you're volunteering for a hospital or the fire department or the police department, 
that innate, that makes you qualify. You can be in medical in the medical field, a nurse, a doctor, a phlebotomist, a health ambassador, or or a hospital worker, American Red Cross worker, or similar. You can be a civil servant uh, in a federal, state, a local municipality, so working for a city. You can be in the military. 585 will score. 585 will score. Get a, I mean, they're giving you 2% of the 3.5% down. Um, the total borrower's income can be equal to or less than 140% of the medium area income. And so that's a lot. We're talking about 150 plus thousand dollars. So, I mean, and it's only the people that are on the application. It's not household income. It's the income of only the people on the application. All right. So this is another fantastic way to get into a home. And I tell you, like I said earlier, we have the programs to meet just about every situation. Now, the next program is a one-time closed program. And talk about the ability to kind of work around the affordability issues here. Buying land is the way to go. And so this is for manufactured uh, modular or stick built properties. The uh, way, way it works is that we will give you a loan to buy the land and build the house. So just one loan. Traditionally, you would get a loan to buy the land. You got to come up with at least 50 to 60 percent down. Right. And it's a high interest rate in the short term. Then you would go and get a construction loan. And that construction loan is going to be based on 80% of the total cost to build the property. So that construction loan will take out the land loan and provide the money necessary to build a house. And then you have to go get a takeout loan, a traditional 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Uh, once the, you receive your certificate of occupancy, the house is done, you have to then refinance that. So the cost is crazy high, the cost associated with the land the cost of associated with the construction loan, and then the cost to get the final loan, right? It just costs a lot of money. And so we cut out, you save yourself literally thousands of dollars by getting one loan to buy the house and buy the land and build a house, one loan. Now, if you don't want to build a house, it takes nine months to 12 months to build a house. You can buy the land and do a manufacturing home. Go buy a man already built you know, manufactured homes are literally built off-site in a factory, right? And they're taken out to the property and they're put on a foundation, right? And they are permanently affixed to the ground, which makes them real property. So, I mean, it saves a ton of money. I mean, you can get a whole lot more house for your money if you buy it out the factory, a manufactured home. And you'd be amazed on how these homes Look, I mean, you can't even tell once they put it on the ground and they throw some stucco around the bottom and they, you know, finish it off. You can hardly tell for some of the more modern, up to date uh, manufactured homes. You can hardly tell they're a single family home. And so this is a great program, folks. I highly recommend you check it out on this program. Three and a half percent down is a down payment. You got to have your three and a half percent down. But if you're buying in a rural area. We can use USDA. If you meet the income limitations, you might not need any down payment at all. If you're a veteran, then we can use a VA loan and you may not need any down payment. In fact, you will not need any down payment at all, VA or USDA. On this program, the minimum FICO score is 620 and you can do a 15 year, 30 year loan. I mean, this is really a great program. And so if you've been looking to buy, looking to buy, you haven't been able to find anything, then build it. Get, find the right contractor who will be able to help you with the architectural design, the layout. They will finance all the upfront costs with permits and fees, and they'll get reimbursed through the loan. And build the home you want. There is land for sale. Here, I live in Riverside. There's so many lots, great deals for sale. If you anywhere in the Inland Empire, it's a great opportunity to buy land. You can get lots of land out here, nice acreages, and build a house you want. Eligible property types, again, are for FHA, we can do a multi-wide. So it has to be at least a, a double manufactured home, multi-wide, you know, at least uh, a multi-wide home. Uh, it can't be uh, a single-wide, 
right? So the USDA requires that as well, uh, and the VA requires that. So if you're going to buy a manufactured home, it's got to be at least a double wide, at least a double wide home, and you might want to look into the triple wides as well. Now, here's some program highlights about this. So one, um, there's no payment due from you at all, no payment whatsoever. No payment during the construction period. No payment during the construction period, folks. Think about it. Um, you still pay rent where you're at and just wait till it's done. The mortgage payment is included in that financing. So that's why there's no payment. And when the house is done, your first payment wouldn't be due for another 30 days after it's done. And so you have time to give notice to the landlord that the thing is built and you're ready to move. No pre-qualification or re-qualifications once the construction is complete, none. So I love that fact because things could change, right? You could change jobs, you could be making less money, you know, who knows what could happen over a nine month period. Once the loan is done, it's done, you own the home. You own the home. You may have to sell it once you move into it because there have been some life events but you own the home. And so again, being able to use this type of loan reduces a lot of your costs. The next is a Home Ready program. And Home Ready is a program by um, Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae. And it's a, it's a great program that enables people with low to moderate income, uh, unless they are buying in a, in a low to moderate census tract. So if you're buying in the low to moderate income census tract, there's no income limitation none whatsoever. But if you're not, then there's income limitation. And um, for California, high, California is considered a high cost state. And so uh, with California, your income can't exceed 140% of the area medium income. So on this program, the minimum FICO score is 620. Uh, maximum, uh, down, uh, maximum loan to value or your down payment is 3%. And that can be a gift, by the way. That can be a gift. Another thing, too, that you have a low down payment here, right? A low down payment. But guess what? Um, the mortgage insurance can be built into the interest rate. And so that can have a huge impact on your, on your payment, right? Not having to have a separate payment for mortgage insurance. Uh, this is purchase. If you have an FHA loan, you may want to consider refinancing if the equity isn't there yet to refinance completely out of, uh, out of that and not have mortgage insurance because that's the goal. Um, then you can refinance uh, into a better mortgage insurance product. And that would be this product if you meet the requirements. And the biggest benefit in doing that is that, one, you'll get some refund possibly of your upfront mortgage insurance premium, uh, depending on how long you have the FHA loan. The other thing is that your, your annual mortgage insurance premium uh, may be less depending on your FICO score and uh, the loan to value. And last benefit is that as soon as your home hits 78% loan to value, just say 80 for all intent and purposes, but 78% loan to value, you can ask the lender to remove the mortgage insurance. Whereas with FHA, you're stuck with it for the life of the loan. There's no getting around it. So on this program, uh, you can purchase one to four units. You can buy a PUD, manufactured home. Um, you can get a condominium. Uh, there's just all kinds of uh, opportunities there with this program. So find something that's affordable, a PUD, a condominium, a townhouse. It's just ha if it's going to be a condominium, townhouse got to be FHA approved. Uh, not FHA approved, but it's got to be uh, approved. It's got to be uh, Fannie Mae approved in this case, uh, and if it were Freddie Mac, which we're going to talk about, it had to be Freddie Mac approved. All condominium associations have to be approved, whether it be FHA or conventional. There's no income limits if you're in a low census, a low income census tract. 100% uh, of the area median income and high uh, minority census tract are designated disaster areas. 80% of AMI on all others. So. Um, Think about it, folks. Uh, this is another way of getting in a home, but you do have to have at least 3% down. Then there's Home Possible. Uh, this is Freddie Mac's program, 3% down. 
And basically, it's the same guidelines. 3% down, 620 minimum FICO score, no income limit if you're in a uh, if you're buying in a low to moderate census tract area. And we can go to their website, put in the property address, and identify that. Uh, this property, uh, Freddie, Freddie Mac just came out actually with a program uh, that will allow you to buy a, a four-unit building with 5% with down. 5% down, a four-unit building. You have to occupy one unit, get to occupy one unit, and um, that's it. We can use the income from the other three units to help you qualify. It's an incredible program. I highly recommend that program. So whether it be a single family or four units, getting in with 5% down for four units, 3% down for a single family, that is the way to go. Now, for those of you who are immigrants or you have family members that are immigrants, you're here, you're working here, you're here legally, but you don't have a social security card, uh, we have an I-10 program. And so basically you can use this program to purchase a refinance or, or even buy an investment property. As a purchase, 20% down, a gift is allowed. Uh, you, can, you can get a gift for the entire down payment. Uh, some lenders will require some skin in the game, you know, 5%, 10% from you, and the rest can be a gift. Um, two years tax returns, two years W-2s, three months bank statements. We need a passport, an I-10 card, and a driver's license. So if you have uh, used a, a different Social Security number other than your, because uh, you don't have one, uh, then um, that could be a problem, uh, but we can work around it. There are, there, there are lenders that will accept you, even if you have used another Social Security number before, just as long as we can establish that you don't have a Social Security number, that what's on that Social Security number is being paid as agreed, that you have a valid I-10 number, that you're here legally, all right? So, and there's other lenders on this program that we have that just won't even touch you if you've ever used a fake Social Security number. So, uh, we have a number of investors that offer this program. The great thing about it is that, uh, again, you can borrow up to, you know, 90% of the purchase price, uh, up to 90% with uh, good credit, a minimum score of 620, the higher the score, the, the higher the possibility, up to 75% with non-traditional credit and no FICO score. So if you can come up with 25% down, then uh, you're in. A single family home, townhouse, PUD, uh, you name it, you, there's just about nothing you can't do here. You can't do land, can't do land. You have to occupy 5% uh, from your own funds. It's a minimum contribution is what you want to have if you're getting uh, a gift or some type of down payment assistance, they want to see you have at least 5% in the game. So if you're doing the 10% down, you know, you can get a gift for five and you got to have the other five. Minimum loan amount, 150, maximum loan amount, 600, and more is possible with more money down. Okay, now I'm getting to the final stretch and that's the investor solutions. Uh, if you have individuals that you're working with that are high net worth individuals, and they do a lot of uh, uh, strategic uh, tax planning. In other words, they don't show any money, they don't show any income, uh, then we have the ATR program. It's called the Ability to Repay. And basically, you qualify with enough liquid assets to cover the loan balance. So basically, show me the money. I call this the Missouri loan. Show me the money, all right? If you, can, you wanna buy a $300,000 house, show me 300,000 plus the cost to buy that house in the bank, and they'll give you a loan, a 30-year loan, 25% down, all right? No monthly income requirements at all. Now, maybe you don't have $300,000 or $400,000 or $500,000 to pay cash for the house, but you can show me seven years or 84 months of payments. So the payment is, uh, what is that? Let's say the payment is uh, $10,000 a month, it's a really big house, really nice house, right? $10,000 a month, that's $120,000 a year. That's 700, what is that, about uh, $840,000. 800, so you can show me $840,000 sitting in the bank. You can buy that house, right? And that's what the payment is on it. That's, a, that's probably a $2 million house, $1.5 to $2 million house that you can buy without any income documentation whatsoever. Again, I call this the show me the money loan. Show me the money. 
So it's called ATR, ability to repay in full asset depletion, two months of qualifying statement. So wherever the money is, I need to see it's been there for at least two months. Maximum loan to value is 75%. Minimum FICO score is 600. If it's below 600, no problem. We can help you get the 600 with no problem, especially if you have money in the bank. And so ability to repay loan, that's what it means. You don't have to be currently employed. You can be a purchase or cash out refinance. So let's say you own a property right now, right? I have a client right now who called me and she said, Merrick, my credit is crazy bad, but I've got 20 to 25% now. I want to buy a house. I can show you my bank statements for the last 12 months. I'm making money, but my credit is horrible. No problem. This is a program or a similar program that I put that person into. All right. Then we have our a full documentation program for investors. And this is for individuals. I mean, talk about bad credit. How about one day out of bankruptcy? No problem. All you need is 20% in. 20% in, FICO score 580, we can do it. DTI up to 50. All right, we're going to base it on your tax returns. If you're employed, your pay stubs, W-2s. All right, if you're not, if you're self-employed, we have a bank statement program as well. We'll do up to $5 million on this program, folks. Interest-only payments, so you don't have to. If you're in it for maybe five or six years, you're going to do something else, no problem. You can have a bunch of other properties, no problem. You can even put it in your corporation or LLC, not a problem. I love this loan. And then we have a program for investors who have rental property. And again, their tax returns look a mess. They write off everything. It's called the Debt Service Coverage Ratio Program where all we are looking at is that the property cash flows, right? We're talking about for every dollar in rent, for every dollar in rent, right? Or every dollar in mortgage, we have a dollar in rent. Now, uh, we have lenders that will still do the loan. We have lenders that will still do the loan with uh, a negative cash flow. And that's basically how they do it is that if you have a negative cash flow, say, uh, for every uh, you know dollar in and for every uh, dollar in rent or dollar in mortgage, you have seventy five cents in rent. <laughs> All right, you had a negative cash flow. So in the cases, what they do is they look at how much money you have in the bank, and basically, if you can show whatever that difference is over a seven year period or a five year period, they look at a number of years. They want to see how long you can carry that negative. So if you're showing a lot of money in the bank, uh, then a negative cash flow would still qualify you for this program. It's pretty easy. One day out of bankruptcy, FICO scores can be down to uh, 640. Uh, it can be lower than that. Um, of course, the worse your credit is, the more that may be required. The bottom line is we can get it done. Now, we have non-prime loans that are for people who have good credit, uh, and but they don't show the income on their tax returns. They show the income in their bank statements. So give me 12 months bank statements. We can do 20% down, FICO as low as 640. We really want to see the FICO score in the 680 range. <clears throat> so that's where you really would like you to be. Debt to, rent, debt to income ratio can't be more than 50. And we're going to base that on your deposits, average that over 12 months, and we'll go up to $5 million. Um, we have a program that will go as high as 95% down, 5% uh, down, bank statement only. Your FICO score has to be really high, 740 plus, 740 plus. Your debt ratio can't be higher than 50. So if uh, your ratios are in uh, higher than 50, then we're looking not at 95, maybe 90, maybe 85. As your ratios go up, the LTV goes down. Same thing with FICO. Your FICO score needs to be 740. As your FICO score goes down, the LTV goes down. We have a 40-year interest-only option available. We can do non-warrantable condominiums. I mean, this program, primary or second home or investment, uh, I tell you, it's, a, it's an amazing program. And then we have the full doc, we'll call it Leverage Light program, 10% down, FICO is as low as 500, DTI up to 55. Uh, I call this our, you know, alternative to hard money, our alternative to hard money. You don't really need to get nine, pay nine, 
10% and, you know, five, six points, you don't need to do that anymore. There, there are better programs available, especially if you're looking to buy and flip. Same thing with second homes. You're looking at up to 20% down or 80% loan to value, five, up to 540 or down to 540. Again, the better your FICO score, the better your FICO score, uh, the better the interest rate. We can use 12 months to 24 months with the bank statements. You know, whatever it's gonna make your income look the strongest is the term, is the number of transactions and number of bank statements we will use. All right, I believe this covers our program. Uh, close more deals now, start the process now. If you have a client that uh, may need our services, uh, go to Agent Support Now or Buyer Leads Now, either one, Buyer Leads Now or Agent Support Now, put in your client's name, address information, put in your information, identify the programs that one of the programs we've talked about today, and then we will reach out to your client talk to them about their situation, get them pre-approved and get them right back to you to show them a home, all right? If you have a client that you think is ready to go, they're looking to you to provide, to arrange the financing, have them go to applaudedbynow.com. They can also download our, my, our mobile app on our website. It's in the footer page of our website. Download the mobile app and they can do the complete application and credit report right from their cell phone. So our goal is to help you close more deals now. And I really appreciate those of you who took the time to listen to this webinar. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can reach me directly on my cell at 714-475-8629. I'd be happy to assist you in uh, getting your um, client situated or providing you additional information on your uh, on any of the programs that we discussed today. So I don't uh, see we have any questions. Uh, if we do, let's see here. See any questions? No questions today. Uh, thank you uh, for taking time out of your uh, busy schedule uh, to uh, join us. And, uh, I really appreciate uh, the uh, time that you've given us this afternoon. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. Uh, we are here to help you. If you go to uh, Buyer Leads Now or agentsupportnow.com, both cases, you'll see our entire team there. Teresa Olivaria, our loan administrator, Denise Davison, our relationship manager, my executive assistant, uh, Bella, uh, to schedule a time to meet with me. Or you can just uh, reach out to me directly. I am here for you. And I'm looking forward to an opportunity to uh, support you in your effort to grow your business and to um, make more money in 2019. Thank you for joining us today on our Realtor webinar. Have an awesome day. See you soon right here at The Power Is Now. You've been listening to The Power Is Now Radio. For more information about the show, check us out at thepowerisnow.com or find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.